everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be reviewing the Mio Organics Moisture RX as you can see my hair is terribly dry it's also some grays in there it's extremely dirty I just took out a style and it looks ridiculous all right so the first thing I'm going to apply is the moisture Hawaiian ginger moisturizing overnight conditioner the first thing I do is I wet my hair and I section it and then I'm going to apply the product to each section um, it's always easier to work on wet hair so I make it a point to just break down the sec sections very small and apply it to each section so I'm going to make sure that I link below um, the product line in its entirety so you can go straight to their website and buy it it's also available in Target so as you can see your hair may dry out at some point so you want to just go ahead and add more water if you need to and then you keep applying it to each section So once I've applied it to each section, I just go ahead and work it into that section and then I section it again in half and I detangle it and make sure that I brush the hair through the section so that way you're working the product through every strand of hair. You're also detangling your hair so that the conditioner can get into the strands and moisturize your hair without it being all tangled up. Once I'm done with that, I usually just twist it so that it can all stay together and it doesn't get mixed in with the sections that aren't done. So you're gonna repeat that process all over your head. Um, once you get done, you go ahead and put on a plastic um, shower cap or something so that you can go to sleep on it. The next day, you go ahead and you rinse it out and you can start to wash it as usual. Now I'm gonna use the Hawaiian Ginger Shampoo. It's really thick in consistency. This is my first time using this shampoo, but I really liked it. All right, so now I'm gonna apply a rinse to my hair so that it can be a consistent color and not that ashy black color that you saw in the beginning of the video. Now I am going to wash the rinse out. I'm using the same Honey Ginger Shampoo from Neo Organics to wash the rinse out of my hair. And this is what it looks like after. So now I'm gonna apply the Mint Babasu Deep Conditioner. This is my favorite deep conditioner um, from this line. I use it all the time and I apply it the same way I apply the overnight conditioner. You section it off into small sections and then you apply it to each section. And then you go ahead and detangle your hair. Um, this conditioner, you don't need to use a lot of it because it's really good. You can also feel it tingle on your scalp. That's why I think so many people love it. And it is effective. Your hair is extremely soft and moisturized after using it. So I usually leave this deep conditioner on for at least 15 to 30 minutes. And most of the time I sit under a steamer or sometimes I just leave it on and let it sit with the plastic cap. So after detangling, I do the same thing. I just twist it up so that it doesn't get mixed up with the sections that are not already done. All right, so now that that's done, I rinse it out and you can see how it is not as bad as it was in the beginning. Then I go ahead and I section my hair off for styling. All right, so now I'm gonna apply the Hawaiian Ginger Leave-In Conditioner. I'm applying it to this big section because as you know, I'm gonna brush it in so that it gets to every strand of hair. I like this leave-in conditioner a lot. It's thick in consistency and it does leave your hair soft and moisturized. So now I'm gonna apply the Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Styling Gel. I'm also gonna be applying that with the Mint Almond Oil from Mio Organics as well. So I saw a lot of reviews before about this product and people were complaining about the cast that was over your hair, I guess, once it dried. Um, I don't know if those people actually follow the instructions on the product, <laughs> but it says to also use it in conjunction with the mint almond oil to kind of prevent that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also going to brush it through so that you can see. The type of style that I'm doing is a three strand kind of hybrid um, 
width i'm going to use rollers on the end to curl it because i really want the curls on the end but i also want the style to be stretched out this part is for people that are not sure how to do a three strand twist out um, i'm going to zoom in so you can see the technique that i use and how i do it if you guys want a more detailed video on this um, with me doing it slow down just let me know and i'll do it all right so here i'm doing a three strand twist out but before i get all the way to the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and comb it out and then I'm gonna apply a roller to it. So here you see me like brushing out the end so that it'll be smoother. And I comb it because I'm anal. <laughs> and then um, I go ahead and apply the roller. I wrap it around and that's it. And I'm gonna do this um, all over my head throughout. So usually on the parts, when I have like a part in my hair, I prefer to get the most definition for that part because I know I won't really pick that part out. So I would do just a regular three strand twist out there so you can get the maximum definition. So you'll also see me do a two strand um, flat twist and then end it into a three strand twist out and then do the roller at the end. This is a common technique that I use when I want the definition to start at the root of my hair. And then once it's all said and done, your hair looks like this. All right, now that my hair is dry, you're gonna see me apply the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Oil. Um, I apply this to my hair because my scalp gets very dry and I find that this oil helps with that a lot. Then I'm going to go ahead and start to take the rollers out. The takedown of your hair is as important as the style that you're doing. So make sure you're careful when you're taking out your rollers. Make sure you're careful when you're taking out your um, flat twist and your three strand twist. The best way to take any style down is to make sure that you have oil of some type on your hands that prevents the style from being frizzy when you take it out. So here you see me put on the mint almond oil and I just work it around um, in all of the sections on all the hair at the same time. And then I take down each three strand twist or flat twist out very, very carefully. So this is a really good example of what happens when um, your hair starts to get tangled and you don't take your time to take it apart. Um, as you see, I just ripped it away and now it's frizzy in that one section. So that's usually why I like the takedown is so important. Granted that one section is not going to mess up the style in any way, but if you make it a point to be careful and not do that throughout the hair, you'll have a more defined style. I also like twist the hair around my finger as I'm taking it out sometimes um, because that helps you get the definition that you want with the curls on the end. The important part is to know which direction to twist it in. So here you see me like twist it one way and then turn back around and go back and twist it the other way. You usually have to twist it in whatever direction the rollers were in. Most of the time I don't remember what direction the rollers are in. So usually it's just trial and error. Like if I twist it one way and I realize it doesn't come out great, then I just go back and do it the other way. Also, my hair is fully dry. Um, I allowed this to dry overnight. I didn't have anything to do the next day. So I, I allowed it to dry overnight. That's why it's completely dry. It's actually maybe like the afternoon of the day after I styled it. If you don't have time to wait for your hair to dry overnight, you can probably also sit under the dryer. This product doesn't specify if you allow it to air dry or sit under the dryer, so I imagine that you could do either or. Um, I usually always read the directions of the product when determining if I'm going to use a dryer or not because some products you cannot sit under the dryer with them. It, the style won't come out the same. This one doesn't specify, so I don't see how it would be a problem. But I did not try it with sitting under the dryer, so try it at your own risk. All right, so now that all of the twists have been taken out, I'm gonna just separate the hair so that it comes out a little bit thicker when I pick it out. 
but I'm not gonna separate it too much because I still want the definition. So once the hair is all separated, I'm gonna start to pick it out. So you can see just to pull the roots out a bit and let the hair appear to be a little bit thicker. I just pick it out to get that kind of big afro look. So the picking separation process takes a while. It's really just based on what you prefer your hair to look like in the end. So you'll see me like pick some and then go back and separate and then pick some and then go back and separate. Um, it's just really about I know what I want it to look like at the end. So I pick and separate accordingly. As you can see, the hair also moves when it's all said and done. It's not one of those tight, crunchy styles, but the product does have enough hold to get the definition. Now I'm gonna apply some Mio Organics Edge Control. It is my absolute favorite edge control for these styles. I use it all the time for everything. And that is it, this is the style. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below with more content you would like to see or other products you would like to review. As always, thanks for watching. And always remember to turn the camera off when your children are home. Peace.